Hello and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. And uh, Sunday night saw uh, the South Africa Sports Awards hosted. And as you could probably guess, uh, SRB walking away with a lot of them. Uh, with the most dominant showing uh, apparently ever by a sporting federation, walking away with no fewer than eight different awards. Capping off what has been an amazing few years uh, for SRB and for the Springboks in general. Now, before we get into exactly what the awards were awarded to, to as well as what uh, the various stakeholders of SA Rugby have to say. Please do smash like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Right, so um, in, in the history of the 17 awards, it is believed that the eight awards um, that won by rugby as the most ever, beating their previous best showing of five in 2022. SRABC CEO Rian Oberholz says that uh, we are greatly appreciative of the honors bestowed on our sport by the judges and the people of South Africa. Uh, he said rugby has worked hard over a long period to reach this point and we are now fortunate to be enjoying a golden age and these awards are a award for all that hard work, dedication and passion that are daily poured into the sport at every level from the school fields, the provincial unions and of course the Springbok level. He said that these trophies are collected by individuals on the night, but I hope that everyone involved in rugby knows that these are their awards as well. It is a happily um, and humbly occasion for our sport. Right, so again, so there were some team winners and there were some individual winners. So we'll start with the, the sort of overall, uh, you know, um, team or administration awards. And uh, Federation of the Year went to SA Rugby. And as a result, you can probably guess that the sports administrator of the year was Mr. Mark Alexander, who is the president of SA Rugby. Uh, the team of the year was the Springboks. Of course, it was going to be the Springboks. I mean, who else were you really going to give it to last year? Um, the newcomer of the year went to my Lieber. What a nice moment for him. You know, I was under a lot of uh, sort of scrutiny during the World Cup um, and a couple of, of, of tough moments. And I think that made us forget just how good of a year he actually had in a Springbok jersey. You know, you think of his performance against Scotland, for example, his performance in the Rugby Championship. You know, he had some amazing moments in a Springbok jersey and, and was a, such a welcomed, you know, breath of fresh air in that Springbok side. And I think, you know, we, we tend to look at the negatives, like him being pulled early in the semi-final and think, well, you know, he didn't have a good World Cup, which is nonsense. He actually did. He had a very good World Cup and he looked very comfortable at, 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 uh, at test level. It's just, you know, the kicking for, for 12 for post, which sort of can sometimes let him down. But overall, he was an amazing addition to that Springbok squad. Uh, the coach of the year was given to none other than Mr. Jacques Ninova. And, uh, you know, and he couldn't have been there because he was busy coaching Leinster into a Champions Cup final as a, one of the assistant coaches over there. Um, the sportsman of the year went to Eben Etzebeth. I think very much deserved. Um, he had an immense year last year. Was so, so good for the box. Uh, you know, I think could potentially go down as the greatest or the best Springbok to ever play the game. You know, that's the kind of territory we're entering when it comes when we talk about um, him and, and, and the sort of the impact he's had. Uh, then your People's Choice Award is, of course, going to be the Sia Khaleesi. And your Sports Star of the Year is also Sia Khaleesi. Uh, in terms of the, uh, how these awards are decided, by the way, they are covered from the 1st of September 2022 to the 31st of December 2023. Uh, during which they won the second um, uh, World Cup in a row. Um, also been uh, good to note is that uh, SA's leading woman referee, Amy Bavteron, was also recognized for achievements by being nominated in the Technical Official Officer um, of the Year category, which was won by hockey umpire Sean Nutford, in case you wanted to know. Um, but in terms of what uh, Mr. Mark Alexander had to say, uh, this is uh, what he reflected on. He said, uh, uh, this is a proud day for rugby, and I'd like to thank my colleagues on the Executive Council for their support and hard work over the years that has allowed rugby to reach this point. We extend our heartfelt thanks to millions of South Africans who support our team throughout the World Cup campaign in 2023. Your enthusiasm and engagement have been invaluable to us. We have had to endure some very tough times on and off the field, and we can never relax our vigilance. But these are awards are a tribute to everyone engaged in the sport, wherever they are in the country. It's deserved. It is deserved. The Springboks and SA Rugby have managed to, in the last few years, really capitalize on... Uh, I think, I mean, not necessarily a golden era of just players, but players, coaches, and environment, a, a setup which has seen us really reach the potential that SA Rugby has always threatened to reach. You know, we've always had the players, had the talent, um, but sometimes I struggle to put it together in a way that, you know, produces results such as back-to-back -back World Cup champions. And we're now doing it. And they're reaping the awards. So I think all those awards very much deserve. Good to see them being recognized as well. 
and uh, hopefully they'll continue to go from strength to strength and we'll be talking about another successful awards uh, ceremony for them in a year's time let me know what you thought about down in the comments below please do smash a like on the video and subscribe to the channel as well thank you very much for watching my name is steve i'll chat to you soon